Hello and welcome back to Higher Maths Differentiation, the chain rule. Let's look at a few more examples. So as we were saying in the previous one, if we have bracket to the n, it's n multiplied by bracket multiplied to the n minus 1. So reduce the power by 1, then multiply by the derivative of the bracket. So here we have differentiate y equals 2 sine to the power 4x with respect to x. So this is a very, very special example because we need to know that sin to the power 4x, sine to the power 4x, actually means sine x all to the power 4. Okay, so this is just the way that we write it and the rest of the world write it. But we need to understand that that means sine x all to the power 4. So once we've written it in that format, it will be power to the front, reduce the power by 1, multiply by the derivative of the bracket. So we're going to have 4 times 2 bracket cubed multiplied by the derivative of the bracket. Well, 4 twos are 8, sine cubed x multiplied by the derivative of sine x, which is co cosine x. So 8 sine cubed x cos x. Right, example number 3, actually a little bit more straightforward than examples 1 and 2. So we have y equals bracket to the n. So dy dx will be 3 bracket squared, power to the front, reduce the power by 1, multiply by the derivative of the bracket. So in the bracket, we've just got 5x plus 2. Differentiate that, we get 5. So 3 bracket squared times 5 would be 15 bracket squared. Right, example number 4. Similar to example number 3, we cannot differentiate with an x term on the in the denominator on the bottom of the fraction. So Rewrite that as y equals bracket to the power negative 3. Then just do our steps. So power to the front, reduce the power by 1. So it'll be negative 3 bracket to the negative 4. Multiply by the derivative of the bracket. So if I differentiate 2x plus 6, I get 2. Multiply that by negative 3. So it'll be negative 6 bracket to the negative 4. And if it's bracket to the negative 4, we can just move that down to the denominator. So negative 6 over 2x plus 6 all to the power 4. So question number 5. Essentially the same idea as questions 3 and 4. So a function f is defined by f of x. Find f dashed of x. So we have the square root of bracket to the n. So we're going to write it as bracket to the power four thirds. The power is four, the roots, the third root, the cube root. So it'll be bracket to the four thirds. At this point, guys, power to the front, reduce the power by one. Four thirds minus a whole is four thirds minus three thirds, which is one third. And don't forget to multiply by the derivative of what's in that bracket, which here is just three. So four thirds multiplied by three, we're essentially doing four divided by three multiplied by three, which is just going to be four. So we've got four bracket to the one third. Well, bracket to the one third is just the cube root. So we're going to have four multiplied by the cube root of 3x minus 2. Right, trigonometric functions. It is only one question, but I'm going to do it in a separate video just in case you guys are looking back and thinking, how do I differentiate the trig ones? So I will do that one in a separate video.